Uh, that was a very short one from Olive the Boy performing his recently released Asylum. Now, Asylum was released a little over a month ago and is already, you know, making waves. For those who do not know who Olive the Boy is, he is the crooner of the very popular widespread Good Sin song. Now, aside Good Sin, he sure does have a lot of other songs which we are going to get into, okay? But yes, um, you're welcome, Olive. Thank you. <laughs> it's, I, I think it's, it's such a coincidence mm. that you are coming here today and I'm wearing green. It's yeah. it's really not it's really not intentional. I nearly but, asked. No, 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 I, it's, uh, no, no, no. Okay. It's not intentional. I have a thing I do of theming my week. Okay. You know, by outfits. Okay. So yeah, it's it's what it is this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Major coincidence. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. good yeah. how, how has it been for you, um, you know, so far, especially with, with this um, song, um, mm. Asylum, you know, doing what it's been doing? We'll get into it much deeper later, yeah. but let's just touch on that for now. Well, it's been good. It's been good so far. I think we've been working, mm. you know, um, trying to put out another body of work after we chopped the remix of Good mm -hmm. Scene, you know. It's been good so far. It's just... Work, work, work. You know. Work, work, work. Yeah, right. That sounds good. Sounds yeah. really good. Now, your name, Olive, you mm. know, has managed to drown the name that your parents gave you. Yeah. Joel. Yeah. Right? Um, how, how did you transition from being Joel and then now being Olive, the brand? Um, I, I keep saying it, you know. When they gave me, when they gave me Joel, uh -huh. I know they did. But they told me. <laughs> and that's not, they told me about it. And uh -huh. I feel like... Olive is nice, so I know give me Olive, you know, and trying to find, you know, as an artist, you need to find a name, mm. right? Stage name. You have to have meanings to it and everything. Me, I didn't, it was hard finding names. Right. And Olive didn't have meanings, you understand, to it like before. But then growing up, um, it did fit me because I love green. Okay. I'm a calm boy. Mm. You know, a whole lot of stuff. Right. It actually defeats the Olive fruits, you but know, so I, 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 like... I, just, I just grew up to like represent it. I like the juxtaposition, right? Mm. Because you know that the name yeah. um, Olive usually is girls or women or females girls, exactly. that are called, yeah. you know, Olive. So I like how that it's just like Uncle Waffles. Mm. I've said it so many times yeah. that I like the fact that she's a woman, mm. yet she's called Uncle, Uncle Waffles, Waffles. You know, yeah. there's just some, you know, je ne sais yeah, quoi so. <laughs> <laughs> about that. But yeah. yes, now let's go through your music journey, right? Yeah. I mean, growing up and all of that, just for the purposes of those who don't know how all of this started for you. Um, so uh, growing up, my house was actually full of music because okay. my dad recorded before, even with my mom, in his, like in the studio. Your mom you know. never released her gospel songs, no, you said? No. Okay. No. So, so I used to listen. Yes, yeah, so I used to listen to my mom's um, songs, but it never really crossed my mind to like become a musician. Mm. You understand? It started from trying to be a pilot to becoming a doctor and all of that. And then the girl made me fall. I started mm -hmm. writing songs in SHS and then I started training. The very first day I put camera on myself. You understand? So, um, the very I first felt, day? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was like the very first time I actually recorded myself like singing, mm. you know, and then it started training. I feel like, bro, I can actually do something with this, right. you know, because in school, there were people that wrote songs, mm. people that were singing, people that were rapping, you know, and I feel like. They all, most of them knew that there was that guy that was even better. But I was not allowed. Were you, were you still using Olive? No, 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 no. Time? Like I said, I was wait, struggling wait, with names. One so, wait, let's run through, <laughs> <laughs> let's run through your name ah, transitions God. then. Because, I mean, having done, you know, songs in yeah. secondary school, mm. obviously, right, you have the nicknames, you yeah. have the, the names that people know you by, and yeah. then now becoming Olive. So let's just touch on... Yeah, even, even Olive, before uh -huh. I settled with Olive the boy, I, I, I think I chose K Olive. K Olive. Olive K. Okay, K like K A Y. K? Yeah. Okay. You know, and I feel like. Nah, what that, what 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 was the K representing? Nothing. Feel, okay. Nah, nothing. All right. You get. There there was this one Joey Mary. I think it was the first time I recorded. Uh -huh. You know, like I was in class and these people knew that oh this boy had a song like this bro. They were pressuring me go record go record. I need to, I need to I, I needed to find a name so I just chose Joey Merritt's. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a seven minutes long song. 
Hey. Yeah, man. <laughs> Back in time. You know, you, I think that over the weekend I was having a conversation with Cyril where I said that I think several years ago, right, mm. we used to have music spanning like four minutes, yeah. five minutes, but you don't have that yeah, anymore. We, I actually didn't realize it until like, okay. because I was, it was just pressure. Boys were saying, bro, go record, go record. Mm -hmm. So I just went to record. First verse, second verse, there was a rapper on it to record it his. Mm -hmm. And then I came back to school. The boy brought the song and it was seven minutes long. Yee. Right? That's long. <laughs> <laughs> that is really, really yeah, long. Yeah, very long. But, but I mean, now that you've, you've mentioned mm. that, right, there's, there's been a, um, a transition, yeah. you know, for you. Would you say you have an olive sound, right, where yeah. um, people listen to you and you are not, quote unquote, you don't sound Ghanaian? Mm. Right, yeah. you, I'm sure you get that yeah, a lot. I get that a lot. Um, people say I sound Nigerian. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's because of the people I've, I, the people I fell in love with. Okay, who are these I, people? Um, they were mostly Afrobeat squad. You know, ah. um, Kim Promise, um, Christian Tasef. You understand okay. all those people. Um, Run Town. You know, I I just loved their music. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I loved their music. I think I remember I went to. I went to this interview and they asked me, um, do I really listen to songs from the Western part? I'm like, not really. Not, not, really. not, not those times, not during those times, you know. But now, yeah, you know, because Just you, to need, add to, up you to, need to, yeah. yeah. You need to exactly. double during, and double and yeah, all of that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. During those that. times, it was those people that I loved to listen to. But I don't, mostly they say I sound Nigerian. I don't feel like I sound Nigerian. Mm. It's probably because... Um, I like to use languages. And I, I don't care if I'll use she or I'll use shebi. Or you use, use omoge. I need to know who this omoge is. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, because I hear it a lot in yeah. you know, most of your songs. But yeah, that, yeah. that, that makes a lot exactly. of sense. So that means that you know people who were in the WAS at mm. the time that you were there, yeah. you know, it's not any surprise to them no, that no, no, you no. are becoming or you've become no, who become. you are today. Exactly. Right. Okay. Now, touching on school, um, I think a couple of months ago, I mean, on the, the onset of, you know, the trend of Goodson and all of that, we were told that you were in school. Yeah. Um, how was that, you know, for you? Because um, you were in school and then you deferred. Yeah. But you made a promise. I think I heard you say sometime that you're going to return to school this year, right? Um, how yes. easy or difficult is that looking? Because then you're soaring and you're rising up. Yeah. you know, the music ladder and, and yeah. your career path is looking brighter, yeah. right? How yeah. is it going back? How is that looking like for you? Well, it was supposed to be this year. Supposed to be. He cast. He cast. He cast. You know, cast. I still go to school. But like, it was supposed to be this year. But, you know, there's so much work, collaborations that people, um, you have to put on songs. Mm. You know, there's work. You understand? And this year is actually packed. You see. Yeah. You see, yeah. We'll, we'll get to the details of, you know, yeah, what the year so, holds for so you. I just, I just wanted to hold on with it for a while. Hey, yeah. just holding on. We still will go to school. No worry, I will go to school. You know, I, <laughs> well, well, I'm sure that will make your, your yeah, mom happy if you're yeah. able to um, complete that. Or maybe also your dad, right? Mm. Um, For those who don't know, you didn't mention this, but I think that I've, you know, snooped a bit. He's actually a, a pastor's child, yeah. right? And his mom was, you know, a gospel artist who never put out her song. That's mm. what we mentioned yeah. earlier. And so you've also mentioned how much you like education. That's why I just wanted to touch on, yeah. you know, how the balance is yeah. going and then when you're going to um, come back to it. So now I'm sure that we can hold him to his word that, yeah. you know, he will sometime return to that. But for those who um, don't know, can you also take us through how your education journey you know, has been until the point where you stopped because mm. um, some way, somehow, you were in University of Ghana yeah. and then Kwame Kwame University of Science and Technology yeah, at, the same time, at the same time, you know, and, and that's really, you know, amazing. Yeah, um, so I told you, I, I lived at Kolongo, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, at Kolongo alone, you know, my mom is a teacher too, you understand? Right. So transfers and stuff. So I went to a whole lot of like primary schools mm -hmm. in JHS and then in SHS down to... I mean, they know it was yeah. down to um, Legon. I was like in 2021. 20, yeah. And then in 23, mm -hmm. I was like 23. Then last I year. went, yeah, last year. I went to tech okay. because I was a science student. Oh. Mm. Me, in my mind, I wanted to do business because of music. Okay. Right? So I chose business for leg. Okay. You understand? But 
I needed to also do something with science because I was a, I was a general science student. Mm -hmm. So I went to tech um, to do metallurgical engineering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, good sim blew in in June last year. Yeah, last year. So I had to hold on. Okay. A bit. Now that you've touched on Good Sin, let's wheel back into the yeah. music. The onset of your career saw you drop um, Tangerine, yeah. which um, was your first EP. My very first yes, one. Yes, and then you had Havana, and then Havana Deluxe, which yeah. we are going to talk about more because I honestly, I say it time and again that I'm trying, I'm struggling to understand, you know, what Deluxes Deluxe are is. because it's just one song or two songs added to already existing <laughs> yeah, songs okay. but yeah let's look at you know it could um, it could be like mm -hmm. 15 songs added there's, there's, that, really no, there's that as well but could usually, be a whole like a whole different set of exactly songs so too. if it's a whole different set of songs why is it a deluxe why isn't it like a different you know ep or album title do you um, understand People have reasons. Me, uh -huh. for me, reason? it's because you know Havana had very beautiful songs, and Good Sin mm -hmm. no allow them to the shine. The other songs, you understand? Blow, yeah. So we just we just put them, um, we just put two songs on. You understand? Put two songs that we know like That's the are very very Home dope Alone songs. Home Alone and Asylum. Asylum. Just right. to make people go and listen to all those other songs. Okay. You know, because today today people come to me and they're like. Stay is a beautiful song. Jay Why is, is it? my favorite. See, I'm going to say, I, I think I've mentioned you know, it a few times that Jay, I yeah. thought, when I started listening to the album last year, when mm. it was introduced to me, I, I honestly thought Jay and then Good Sin were going to be those ones. Yeah. So, I mean, when Jay didn't do as, as well, I'm like, mm, the album is the EP. I beg your pardon. Is actually yeah. really, really good. So yeah. okay. So now that's 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 a good explanation. Jay was the even, time. you know, like to make you to make you even understand the deluxe, mm -hmm. like the deluxe world. Mm -hmm. You know, Jay was even dropped before we dropped the Havana EP. Yeah, the year in prior, right? Yeah, yeah. In December, you know, and if, like you're saying, Jay is a beautiful song. It we is. wanted people to also Absolutely. get to know about it. You know, so it's it's all because of that. We didn't make people know about all those other songs okay. because. Asylum is already doing good, you mm -hmm. know, and we we actually seeing people go back to the songs, That's go nice. listen to the songs. And okay, we, we feel like the plan is working. The plan is, is working, working definitely. Yeah, working. All right, so it, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I did get them now. Did get them I get why yeah. <laughs> I get why Havana had to be a deal. Like also, so. because you know that we waited, you know, several months, right, yeah. for you to either drop another EP mm. or another album, yeah. and then. Here we are with we Havana are. Deluxe, you know, shoved <laughs> down our throat. So that makes sense. Yeah. Now let's get to Good Sin, the song that, you know, largely introduced you to a lot of people in Ghana, outside Ghana, and the world over. When you were creating, you know, the Havana EP, or when you were even making the song Good Sin, did you have any inkling whatsoever that that song was going to be it for you? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Frankly, like when I made this song, I'm like, bro, my favorite is, is NBA. Okay. This song is actually going to disturb it. Ah, yeah, so why because did you, was there a reason you didn't push NBA, NBA as much? Um, no, no, it's because good sin, because being you know, your favorite NBA, you would think that, yeah, but when there's when there's a song people love, mm -hmm. you know, you know, if you switch attention, yeah, plus, um. We all knew, like, you see the way Good Scene there, mm -hmm. the, just, the, just the title alone, right? It's catchy. It's catchy. You get, Was there any people... intentionality, mm. you know, in pushing Good Scene? And then also we will come to the remix because you 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 said so many times that Ira Star inspired, inspired you know the yeah. making of Good Sin right now the remix I mean I would have expected that Ira Star, Ira Star would be will on. be on there but you gave us came from his Ricardo Banks and Oxlade on yeah. the remix so like let's just talk about that creation of Good Sin and then also you know waiting to get the remix done if you ever wanted to have Ira Star on it getting her on the difficulties or the ease if you want to make music with her later if there's that possibility as well um wanted to no not really but like mm -hmm. if 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 we had gotten the chance right i mean yeah fine that that would be that would be good but yes i asked that on another song you it's have possible. it on another song no 
Oh, but I asked her okay. on another song. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, because I have, I, have, I think I have, you know, when you write songs mm -hmm. and you want to feature people, you know the people you want to feature most right, of the time. Right. Yeah, and I have songs that I want to feature on. Uh, so probably when we meet sometime, like, it's going to happen. I think you've been speaking it into the universe so uh, much that, I mean, the universe has to make it happen, uh, you know, sometime really, really soon, so. um, if it hasn't happened mm -hmm. already. But you've been to Nigeria, you know, yeah. a few times. Yeah. You've not wanted to reach out. Um... Most of the time when we go to Nigeria, it's, we, we have like purposes. We have specific okay. reasons we go. Okay. Um, like we went recently and it was to shoot Asylum. Okay. Like the visualizer for Asylum mm -hmm. and, and, you know, so most of the time we don't have time okay. to do all those stuff. Okay. You know, but yeah, we'll have time to... To do that. To all those awesome. Now, based on your experiences, you know, with family, friends and women, what's your take on love? On love. Yeah. Mm -mm. Because most of your songs yeah. are singing on love. I mean, even at the time where you were, um, you know, seemingly so young to be talking about love on Tangerine, mm. you know, you were doing that. We've seen you, you know, do that on yeah. several of your songs. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, seemingly young, yes. But um, I think my, my, my family, actually, they, they loved telenovelas. You know, okay. they love telling the village. So mm -hmm. I knew about all those stuff. But um, when I grew up to actually experience all those stuff, um, I feel like love is actually a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. But it exaggerated in movies. Mm. Yeah, that's, 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 that'd be what I could talk. But it's actually a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. That is when you have like a very good person. Okay. In my space like this, mm -hmm. I have to have a very, very understanding person. Right. You understand? And it's hard to find them. Like, you're busy today, you're busy tomorrow, eh? you're doing all of that. Tell me more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because also, you know that you, you invited a girl to hop on your bed to sing, uh, right? In good sin. Yes. And then all of a sudden, we have asylum, asylum. where I don't know whether it's a case or it's nah, a threat. It's a you threat. telling her that if, if she leaves you, it go, it go over it and over. she go 10. Um, patient for, for asylum. asylum and i think that there's some there's just some tinge of toxicity you know in there i'm like mm, this is so, so aggressive yeah. but it's still you know a love situation that's yeah. what i was asking about i that. get that a but, lot mm -hmm. i get that a lot that it's a talk it's a toxic song it's yeah. not it's not like the truth is right like i was saying it's mm -hmm. very hard for me like this uh -huh. in the music space to find somebody that will actually hold on mm -hmm. you understand because they all have, like, bro, you have a whole lot of girls that want you, all those stuff, you know. So you cannot really trust your, your, your woman. Right. Like, at that time, I was, I was actually in love with somebody, and I felt like... She? I felt like I need to make this song to warn her. Oh. I was not trying to kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So it okay. was just a warning because it's hard to find love, especially for somebody like me, mm. you know, so... Just a uh, warning. Well, well, you can't trust said, it. I, I Normally, you can't even trust a woman. And imagine trust, somebody you, you with don't space want to start having with this, this music thing behind me. me. You, you can't, you can't, you don't want to start having this, you can't trust women, <laughs> you can't trust men conversation because I'm going to talk for the women. Uh, but you can't trust of course men. You will. Yeah, of, of course, course you obviously. Will. I mean, I just have to <laughs> talk for the women. But yeah. men will stain your white, men will dirty your dress, like uh, don't wear white cloth, don't put charcoal inside, oh, don't put mud inside. How? But anyway, um your trajectory has been beautiful, yeah. right? You've put in the work, you know, um you you were outdoored, you know, sometime last year, I think in September, yeah. if I'm right. Yeah. Um you've gotten onto Boo Vision mm. and then also there's loop music, which is your original that you started yes. with and then also um we have full circle as well how how is that working out for you because for a new artist having you know um all of these giants in the space you know yeah. supporting and pushing you um how is the feeling like and and how has that been for you so far feeling, no, the feeling is good mm -hmm. um i remember when after after the concert i mm -hmm. actually got very emotional Why? i couldn't even talk on the interview because like, looking at where I, I was from, you know, like, everything I went through till now, I didn't really expect to be, to be there, you know, like, right. at, at, the, at, the, at the experience, mm -hmm. at the concert. Mm -hmm. There were all these beautiful people, people that I didn't, I didn't even think would be available. Mm -hmm. You know, Boo came down from US yeah. to come, just, just to come watch me perform, you know. 
all of that. It was I, I felt I felt emotional and a bit precious, you know. But now it's cool because um we're like a family, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, full circle, loop music, boo vision, you know, like we talk, we love, you understand? Everything is good. We're actually nice. also working, you know. I told you this year is packed, right? It's packed year. Yeah, you did mention. There's a lot of work. Now, talking about a packed year, your, mm. your, your works that you've put in over maybe the last year or the last couple of months has paid off. You have some, you know, nominations yes. for the upcoming TGMAs, yes. um, Most Popular Song of the Year, New yeah. Artist of the Year, and Best Afrobeat Afro Song, Song of the Year. Of the year. When you you saw or you realized that you've gotten these nominations how was the feeling because i mean you standardly you know maybe you're just gunning for one category mm. as best new artist yeah. but you have three and i think that is a big deal yeah 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 it was it was it was good i performed that night too mm -hmm. so it was a good one i mean seeing seeing all those nominations i felt like i felt really fulfilled you know mm. it was it was a good feeling exciting nice um, I actually called my mom right after and told her, yo, I got three. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, she was watching. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's nice. So now, talking about nice. Afrobeat, you know, being um, someone who has listened to Afrobeat majorly and then is also championing, you yeah. know, that genre, there's a conversation of the obliteration mm. or, you know, the seeming irrelevance of the genre in the next couple of years, right? Uh, what's, what's... I did sh I did <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? It's not true. It's not true? It's not true. Like, okay. Because if you see... You know, from from the time from the time of run down the boom boom till mm -hmm. now, you know, like mm -hmm. there are a lot of different sounds mm -hmm. people they add to music, like to the Afrobeat sound. Right. You understand? And to have Afrobeat in Grammys, have, you know, it's not it's not going to end anytime soon. You know, Afrobeat is actually like I feel like it's it's a raining it's a raining um genre right now. Mm. You know. That's it's not going to end right now. It's what I'm saying because, because some people also think that it's fast food music, uh, you know. But anyway, it's, in your it's opinion actually, it's not going to end. It actually right? depends. It depends on it who depends. it depends. It doesn't depend on who. It depends what does on it depend on? The components of the sound. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, mostly the five five beats but like the fast tempo, mm -hmm. they feel like it's fast food. Right. But like it's it's it actually depends on the company. The content. Of okay. Yeah, All right. So thanks for sharing your thoughts yeah. on that. But before I let you slide, I'm going to also, um, you know, ask about what your plans are for 2024 because you've said it, I think, twice or thrice already that 2024 is a packed year. So again, put us into, you know, how packed that year is. Mm. This year, this year is actually very packed though, because <laughs> already we are trying to find dates for people where we feature. Mm -hmm. You understand, and most of them kind of like are very very close. Okay. You know, yeah. There are collaborations. There are like my own projects. Probably there could be another EP. You know, mm -hmm. this year with your favorite artist, um, Maddy. Like this, mm -hmm. I have a collaboration with there. King Maddy. Uh, yeah, King okay. Maddy. <laughs> on God, David. You know, he he was supposed we were supposed to get him on the remix, mm -hmm. but um, it couldn't happen. Yeah, so. Okay. Is on another sound. Okay. And this nice. Year, nice this year one. is going to come. Nice one. Now, now, talking about plans for 2024 as well, um, you you were supposed to go on tour, mm. right? I mean, I just saw yeah. yesterday that you guys had called it off. Yeah. Is that going to be in the works for later? Mm, yes. Or? Okay. All right. Yes. All right, then. All the best with, with that. And then um, you go do you. Um, go stay green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of then um, just know that everybody, you know, is, solidly behind you just mm. give us more music more course, quality more, more music yeah more, more quality music. music is all we ask you know yes and so um you're wrapping up unpacking this morning speaking to all of the boy he sure um you know has plans for 2024 like he's already mentioned and for now he's pushing you know uh, his Havana deluxe ep and then also the new one which is titled asylum if you haven't listened to it yet like i always say get onto all music distribution um, or streaming platforms and listen to so you can also find you know the full ep and the you know the playlist on youtube and feast on it as always stream a ghana song today my name is lenny lomote your international tv and radio presenter living in ghana at the moment